everybody welcome to my channel my name is Gabby and today we are going to be cutting up a walnut log into some two bys right now I'm just getting the sawmill ready to saw up some lumber I'm cleaning off the log dog so they can move freely and I already put some transmission fluid on the tracks just so the sawmill can move back and forth nicely Now our log is originally 12 foot 6 from when we cut it down from the tree. But there's a crook, like a bend in it, right around the 6 foot mark. So we're just going to cut it in half. That way we can actually get more lumber out of it if we cut off where it bends at. Now when moving logs, we always use our trusty cant hooks. Especially when moving larger logs because they make it easier and they grab the log very nicely. This log came from a tree that was in our backyard. I already made a video about us cutting down the tree, so you're welcome to go see that if you like. And I also wanted to tell you guys that we did plant a baby walnut tree in its place. I am cutting these logs on a Woodmiser LT15 Go. Now, I have to tell you that we did upgrade to the power feed. It originally was a crank feed. And what this means is, originally you had to crank the saw to make it go forward, but now it goes forward by itself with a flick of a switch. Now, this works great, and all you have to do is keep the track clean, and it basically does it itself. So, if you were looking at the Woodmiser LT15s, I do suggest going with the upgrade and getting the power feed. Other than that, they're great. Before you ask, no, Coca-Cola is not sponsoring this video. It is just my dad's favorite drink. So, anyway. Now at this point, I am getting down to the cant of the log, meaning getting down to the squared off area where all the wood is and taking off the bark. Now I do recommend that if your log has been sitting on the ground at all, that you hose it off. Because I've learned from trial and error that there could be dirt in the bark that you do not see and this can quickly dull your nice sharp blade. So. Take it from me and just make sure your logs are clean. Now, we haven't really cut up any walnut in a while on the sawmill. I think the last things we've been cutting up mainly have been poplar and cherry. So it's been a while since we've seen a piece of walnut and I've got to say walnut is my favorite. It's so pretty and it's so unique and I just can't wait to make these boards so we can start making things out of walnut again because I ran out of walnut. So yeah, can't wait for some new stock. Now I am cutting all my lumber at 2 inches thick and the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of our walnut will be turned into cutting boards because walnut makes a cutting board beautiful in my opinion. You could have maple and cherry in it but without a piece of walnut it doesn't seem to have that mwah. I don't know maybe it's my opinion but that's what these walnut boards will be. Now, right
right here, I am cutting my cant directly in half. Now the reason I'm doing this is because if we flip it over, I can cut two boards at the same time. Now this saves a lot of time and I kind of like it because I think it looks really cool, but anywho. Now, I always think it's a good idea to stop every once in a while and just clean off the sawmill. Like, right now I'm just blowing off all the excess dust on the track. Then I'm going to take some transmission fluid and just put a little dab on each of the wiping pads on the track. This just keeps the sawmill running smoothly and just saves time altogether in my opinion. Look at how gorgeous walnut is. How can it not be everybody's favorite? Though sometimes I suppose it is because it is hard to get a hold of a nice walnut log. I mean, it's just so beautiful. How could you not fall in love with it? We have only had our sawmill for, I think it's a year this month, and we have learned so much. And a lot of the times it's from online. So if anyone else has any other tips to share about your sawmill, please feel free to go ahead because we're all learning together through trial and error. The last walnut board from them two logs. I wish it wasn't so. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.